Well, hey guys, how are you doing? Um, so Jesus gave me a message this evening. Um, so I'm going to read it to you. Um, it's June 11, 2023. Um, claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's also God. He came to the earth in the flesh, bled on the cross, died and rose on the third day. He died for our sins. He was born of a virgin. Um, and ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people on um, YouTube. They're basically using my picture and trying to impersonate me to scam you for money. So no matter what they say, um, I'll never ask you to donate to an orphanage or, or any money for that matter. So always know that that's not me. And they have like no subscribers anyway, so that's kind of a tell. And usually numbers behind the name. Okay, so I'm going to read this message. <clears throat> First he gave me uh, 1 John 2, 9. Oh, and I just want to say really quick, this is super exciting, guys, because like literally... It's impossible for me to know these things because I don't have the Stellarium app. I don't know anything about the signs in the heavens. So the fact that like he says things like crash into things, like Aries is one of the ones, you know, like, or the net is found in the heavens. Guys, that's impossible for me to know because I've never looked at the Stellarium app. I don't have it. Okay, anyway, just had to clear that up. 1 John 2, 9, he who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. Ecclesiastes 2, 9, so I became great and excelled more than all who were before me in Jerusalem. Also, my wisdom remained with me. Philippians 1, 7, just as it is right for me to thank this of you all because I have you in my heart inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. Colossians 1.3 We give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. Deuteronomy 28.14 So you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day, to the right or the left, to go after other gods to serve them. I think that's kind of interesting to the right or to the left, you know, and he said, you know, read from the bottom right to the left. Huh. Maybe that means the same thing. I don't know. Okay. Job 23, 2. Even today, my complaint is bitter. My hand is listless because of my groaning. Matthew 28, 6. He is not here for he is, he is risen as he had said, come see the place where the Lord lay. <clears throat> That's interesting because McKenna had said something about the stone being removed, you know, when, when Jesus risens, arises and, um, or risen, I don't know how to say it, when, when he rose, um, the stone was removed and she said it like matched the, the signs in the heavens as well, or, or numbers. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't really follow like everything they're saying, but I think it's really cool because even though a lot of it goes over my head, a lot of people understand it and, and they explain it pretty well. Okay. Um, Mark 1 11, then a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. It's like some, oh, that's my, uh, <laughs> sorry. I thought it was like, I have tinsel in my hair, so it was like shining. I was like, what is that in my hair? Okay, um, sorry, I'm ADD. Uh, James 3, 7. For every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. Luke 14, 8. When you are invited by anyone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in the best place, lest one more honorable than you be invited by him. Guys, literally, like, he gives me these scriptures in my head, and I don't know where they are. Like, it's amazing. Okay. Sorry, I, I get I get surprised every single time I get a message. Um, Jeremiah 29, 4. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all who were carried away captive, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem to Babylon. <clears throat> Obadiah 1, 7. He started giving me this one recently, like this is the second time he's given me Obadiah and I've never, never had that one before. One seven, all the men in your confederacy shall force you to the border. The men at peace with you shall deceive you and prevail against you. Those who eat your bread shall lay a trap for you. 
No one is aware of it. Okay, Ephesians 3, 7. Of which I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effective working of his power. <clears throat> okay, now here's the message. My child, the skies are opening up. I am catching my people up. I told you I was coming at the ninth hour. My word is true. I am catching them up at the ninth hour. There is no more delay. I will tarry no longer. Many of you still can't see my signs or how I'm pouring my spirit out to my people. I love you children, but your fallacies are despicable and your accusations and judgments are way off base. I told you if you had childlike faith and believed in me, I would save you. So why are you changing my gospel and why are you spreading bad news? Do you think having to endure my wrath is good news? Wake up, O oh sleeper. I'm catching up my bride at the ninth hour before midnight. It's after the net in the water. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm making it impossible for you to doubt. It's all written in the heavens with my mark and my time stamp on it. Why would I change what has already been written? What comes after the net in the water? Has it crashed into Aries? Many of you... <clears throat> Sorry, many of you are asking what my pre wrath is. You will see 7.5 earthquakes back to back in the same place. North Dakota will experience my pre wrath. Wisconsin will experience shaking. Colorado will be hit with back to back tornadoes. Texas will get an explosion. Free Masonry Temple will fall in Philadelphia. Like when I heard that, that's crazy because he's given me that warning since January. <clears throat> when you see these line of events taking place, know that my time to pick up my bride is near. You will also see a light show in the sky. It's going to be beautiful but ominous at the same time. Meteorites will fall at my coming. Children, you will not be able to deny my arrival if you have been listening to my anointed ones. There is no trickery or deceit. Are you even listening to me at this last hour? I love you so much. I will light up the sky for you just so you can feel my presence. I wish for not one to perish. I came to save the world, not condemn it. When you are saved by me, you are saved by your faith and belief in me, and you are under my grace. My resurrection is final. I died on the cross for you. I rose for you. Why can't you see my patterns? I have laid it all out for you. So much disbelief that I would reveal anything to my prophets before I do anything even though it is clearly in my word. I told you to walk in the spirit and walk by faith. Man will never understand. Only the spirit with discernment will guide you to the truths. Are you guided by the Holy Spirit? Are you guided by truths? Let's talk about my fig tree. Has it withered? Have you seen the symbolism of my door? I gave you the key. What does that have to do with my trees? Do you have the fruit of the spirit or are you walking blindly? Didn't I say pick up your mat and walk? So why are you walking blindly? Tokyo has the rain fallen, but is it real rain? Not just acid, but hail bigger than the size of golf balls. I love you children. Believe in me, confess I am Lord with your hearts, and I will save you. Redemption draws nigh. Look up. Okay, so we're going to go to part two. Um, you know, guys, I could be doing a million other things. <laughs> um, you know, I'm spending time with my family right now, um, seeing my mom. Um, she's doing better now. Thank you so much for the prayers. But she's she lost like 40 pounds, which, you know, she... She needed to lose the weight, but oh, it was mostly fluid. That is how much fluid she had in her body, you know, from being in the wheelchair and stuff. So, um, if you could keep praying for her, that would be amazing. And, um, just keep believing in Jesus, guys, because I truly believe he's coming soon. Okay. God bless. I love you.